The Legend of Rayquaza. Now, here's a funny story with this. The reason why I bought Celestial Storm Packs in the first place is because back in December, I mentioned how fun it'll be to hunt for Lugia. Full Art, Rainbow Rare, Lugia. And I bought these without even thinking or doing any research because in my mind, I was thinking that Lugia and Rayquaza came out the same pack. Only to remember when the packs got here, I was like, oh yeah, that's right. Lugia is in Lost Thunder, which is not a bad thing because Lost Thunder costs way less than these packs do. I think these packs cost like almost $10 a pack and they're kind of hard to find now at this point. I mean, not really hard, but you know what I mean? Like compared to like finding modern day packs, you should get anywhere. These don't come around as easy. Good news is, we can hunt for Lugia a lot easier at some point, you know. But I figured since I bought these, I might as well open them and try to get the Rayquaza inside the set. I don't really care to hunt for this because I got the shiny version from the promo box uh, back in 20, what, 2019 was it? And uh, I got a couple of ones of PSA 10, which was actually nice. I mean, they were really, really good quality. Usually promo cards are usually beat up and stuff like that. But they figure out, they, being Pokemon, really figure out how to package those packs so they don't get damaged and destroyed. That's a nice mud kit. Uh, in transit. And that's what ended up happening is, is, is I got a couple, they all came back as 10s, and uh, I'm a happy, happy Pokemon fan. Salman's in the first pack. You can hang on the back as well because you are cool. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and try to pull the uh, Rayquaza. I'm not going to hunt for it. What I mean by that is, is once I open these 10 packs or 15 packs, whatever the amount is, I'm probably going to be done with it. But I am definitely going to try to get my hands more, on more, I should say, uh, Lost Thunder packs at some point because, again, I do want to try to get that Rainbow Rare Lugia. But I also don't want to go too crazy with that because I know how annoying it is to hunt for uh, rainbow rares in modern day sets. So yeah. Meditite, Latias. Ooh, Prison Star Cloud with the clutch. And then there's that. I am going to sleeve you up. It's funny because I just pulled Fire in the last uh, video, depending on which order these are uploaded at. And uh, this is actually a nice one. It is off center though. As you can see, top to bottom. It's way thicker at the top than it is on the bottom. So this is most likely going to be a nine. Hang out over here. Unless, of course, everything else is perfect and then the centering is kind of like whatever. The way the cards are graded is they do it right based off of four different sections. You got centering, edges, surface, and then um, corners, right? Centering, edges, corners, and, uh, and surface, yeah. So if everything is a 10 and the centering ends up being like a 9, it still averages into, you know, a PSA 10. That's how that works out. That's why sometimes you'll see a 10, a PSA 10, and be like, that's off center. That's because everything else is perfect. Or, you might get situations where sometimes the grader did miss something and then somehow they... Oh, Neo Genesis Sneasel, look at that! I like that, I like to see that! Sometimes you do get graders that do miss stuff and then end up, you know, overgrading something when it clearly shouldn't have been graded what it was uh, given. I do like the fact that, you know, uh, there was a, a couple Sun and Moon sets that actually grabbed arts directly from uh, the Neo era. I'm a big fan of that. I remember when that happened, a lot of people... Not, I don't say a lot of people, some people online we're not happy about it. Me, would that be my amongst my favorite sets? Love it. Love to see those cards popping back up like this. That was supposed to be a uh, Hate and Lisa. Hey, let's go. That was supposed to be a, a, a reprint card that was trying to like you know gas up. But we'll take the full art. Don't know what the value of that card is. Uh, nor do I know if it's still even being used. So, not gonna put that on there. You know, I don't like putting arts, not arts, sorry, the prices on cards for several reasons. The main reason why is because it gets very tedious, number one. But two, what, what kind of annoyed me over time is like, these videos will keep getting viewed over time, but they won't age well. What I mean by that, for example, is let's say I pull this Tate and Lisa in the first week, and let's say this is a $100 card, and the second week it's going to be like a $50 card. Because then you get people in the comments who are like, the card's not $100, it's $50. And then over time, the video ends up becoming... The video ends up becoming, you know, uh, a year or two old, and then that fifty-dollar card ends up being four hundred dollars. And it's like people are like, that's not a, that's not a hundred-dollar card. It's four hundred dollars. That's really the reason why. And I know what you're thinking, well, Ryan, can people just look at the dates? You would think so, but no, they don't normally do it. And the other main thing is, it's not about the prices. You know, I don't want the main focus to be the price of a card. Don't get me wrong; it's super exciting to see a card be expensive, especially one that you own, and it's fun to see the the growth. But that should not be the main focus. It absolutely should not be the main focus. Matt Cargo. The focus should be, that's actually a reprint art, um, should be, you know, the love of the of the designer of the Pokemon themselves. Like, it's just cool to see the arts pop up, you know, and, and, and to collect those. You know, when I got back into Pokemon 2016, it wasn't about the value of the cards. Like, like I said, it was cool to see stuff grow. The, the big thing was, you know, the nostalgic factor, number one and two. Just collecting, like that's the, that's what it's all about. 
the love of it. We should put this Torchic in the back, actually, next to the Mudkip. There you go. That's my good luck trio right here. Groudon! Look at that! And then Metacham in the back. Uh, and then there is everything else. But yeah, it, it shouldn't be all about the value of the cards. It should just be the love of it. And that's the one reason I don't do it. But again, the main reason is it's very tedious. Because um, I actually... It's, this thing sounds so like weird and be a, such a first world problem. I actually use my old computer to export these videos. Uh, my main computer is what I use for like my, my main channel. And my old computer that um, really can't even function anymore. I use it to export and basically just uh, edit up these these card videos, which are a bit easier to do. And then I just kind of leave it up there for like an hour to export because it's just very, very slow. Um, but anytime I try to do any kind of fancy edits on that computer, it gets really obnoxious. I don't know what it is. It's like, I mean, to be fair, it's an old computer at this point. That's also a reprinted art, if I remember correctly. Uh, it is kind of an old computer at this point, so I'm not surprised that it's not functioning as well as it used to. But still, there's little things that I'll try to add up, even like adding text, it'll just start freezing up. I'm like, bro, why? I'm just adding text. So yeah. Now I could, you know, use my main computer to like export these, but really what I end up doing usually is I'll <laughs> I'll use that second computer in between working on my main video. So like my main channel, right, or my main computer right now is literally exporting a video that I just got done editing. And then I hopped on here to record for my second one. <laughs> and that's kind of what I do. That's why I, I do it the way I do it. I think this is also a reprint, but I'm not really sure. Because Deoxys, I don't really, never really paid that much attention to. But yeah, that's also why. It gets very tedious because when I, whenever I try to do stuff like that, throw up screenshots or even add text, it just kind of freezes up and I'm like, God, whatever. I mean, I could use my main computer, but then at that point, the thing that's kind of annoying is I will take up resources for editing my main channel stuff. And that's kind of like the big problem. The main reason why I got a newer computer is, one, you have to because, you know, they get old. But two, it is so I can cut down rendering on um, my main channel's videos. My cargo, and then a Lunatone in the back. There you go, copycat. Bam. Um, let's go ahead and get to the next pack. We have not gotten anything out of these packs, actually. Now that I think about it. I mean, outside the Tate and Lisa, and then the Ladia's um, Prism Star. I haven't really gotten anything out of these. I mean, my luck was pretty fire in my last video, which I just got done recording. Again, I don't know which order you're gonna see this uploaded, but. Ah! Oh! I recognize that one. Neo Genesis Onyx. Look at that. You'll love to see that. Torchic. Hang on back. And a Mac Cargo. I hate everything about Mac Cargo. To anybody that's uh, ever opened uh, EX Deoxys, you probably also hate Mac Cargo. <laughs> All right, we have four packs left from the looks of it. And then, uh, then we're done. Whether or not I get more of these, my mood changes down the line, maybe. But I'm like I said, I'm not going to. I'm trying to hunt for uh, for Lugia right now. I don't want to pursue two, pursue two different Rainbow Rares. You know, when I haven't even pulled one of them yet, which is the Lugia is gonna be the main one. I like these arts. Manectric. Hey, there's my Donphin. He's an uncommon now. How the mighty have fallen. You'll see this card so much if you open Neo Genesis, because it is a rare in that set. All right, we have three packs left. You know what, we're going to open you last. I feel like that Rayquaza art is going to be good luck. It's going to be very, very good luck. I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm just feeling it out right now. Got Bagon. We got Clam Pearl. Lotad. Vampy. Wingle. Reverse. Pupitar. Which is, again, reprint art. And then nothing in the back. Love to see it. Love to see that kind of failure. Not really. All right, we got Blaziken for the art, and then we're gonna end it with Rayquaza. Hopefully, hopefully we get one big hit. <clears throat> See what happens. Voltorb, Trico again, Gulpin, Woodsmer, Shepet. Ah, Reggie Ice back to back. Ah, that sucks. You see, this is why hunting for Rainbow Rares is just not that enjoyable. I could use the money I spend on these modern day packs where you buy thousands of them to buy a couple of vintage packs or hollow and just be excited. Unless, of course, this ends up being the Rayquaza, in which case we totally win and I had a lot of fun. But let's see what happens. Make sure we don't actually spoil anything. All right. Bellsprout, Whalemur, Beldum, Shuppet, Torchic. <laughs> Scizor GX. <laughs> At least it's a hit. At least it's one more hit before we end the video. There's a code card. All right. Well, I mean, again, I'd rather end it on something like that than pulling another Reggie Ice. So it is what it is. Hey, 
As long as you guys had fun and enjoyed the video, that's all that really matters. That's why I say to myself, make myself feel better when I didn't pull anything. But hey, as long as the content is fun, again, that's all that matters. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Ryan Style. Hit that thumbs up if you had fun. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.